QuickBooks Online 1A, Setting Up a Business. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, the email, the website in the book, Cost Accounting for Dummies that I'm teaching online every week, and the Twitter account. And what I'd like to do is go to an introduction, a very basic introduction of QuickBooks Online. And I'm going to go to the QuickBooks Online screen here, and we're going to do getting around QuickBooks. So the example that I have set up is called Sturdy Blue Jeans. I'm going to assume I run a company that manufactures blue jeans. And this is how the screen looks. Here's a home page. I'm going to go to getting started. Let's see what that screen looks like. And you can see that You've got some introductory videos here, including a PDF guy, which I think is good. And if I go to the Getting Around screen, that's what I'm going to spend time on here. It gives you a nice overview of what each one of the buttons means. Let me show you what I mean. What I love about QuickBooks is its simplicity because you can see that we have money in documents and activities on the left and money out on the right. So. Let's click on each one and see what they mean. An estimate. An estimated way is a way of giving your customer a quote in writing. You can track the estimates, and in fact, you can get the estimate into an invoice. And you can also see they've got their own videos for training you on all of these. So somebody, won't, you want to get a new fence at your house, you have a fence company come out, they do an estimate. The next would be invoices. So getting around invoices. Use an invoice to bill a customer for later payment. So we're making a distinction here. Sometimes you get a payment right when you do business. Sometimes you get a deposit up front, which we'll talk about. And in most cases, regardless of when you get paid, you're going to create some kind of invoice for people. It says if you're recording an immediate payment on a sale, use a sales receipt instead because you want somebody to walk out of your business with a receipt in their hand showing that they made payment. Charges is something that most people in QuickBooks don't use. This is where you're totaling up things that expenses that you've incurred to do business that will eventually end up on an invoice. Charges are a way to easily track products or services for which you plan to invoice a customer at a later time. I was working with a technology company that installs home theater systems, and they accumulate expenses over time that eventually end up on an invoice. So they have an ongoing document, a job cost sheet to do that. So that's what charges are. Receive payments. When a customer is paid an amount due or an invoice, receive payments to record what they have paid. That's going to be linked into cash. If you didn't invoice the customer, we talked about um, that a few minutes ago, you use a sales receipt. So you've got received payments. Deposit linked to your bank account. You can record deposits received against invoices. You send somebody an invoice, a cash sale. Even funds that are not associated with any transaction, maybe it's uh, interest on a loan and you get your bank statement and notice that you earn interest that's not related to a client but you still record the deposit customers at the top I'll get to later so that's the left hand side of the chart in the middle you have bank accounts and reports standard reports we'll get to later so not only can you set up customers and we'll do that in a later video you can also set up vendors people that you are paying which is why it's on the money out side of QuickBooks. You can get checks, cash in the door, credit cards. I'm going to go down to the bottom corner here, though. Refunds and credits. When you refund a customer, give them a credit toward a future purchase, which means when they, if they have a $100 credit and they buy a $500 item, the $100 credit would reduce the amount that they owe. So sometimes you refund customers. Um, 
particularly if there was a, a mistake or an error made or they didn't get the right item or the item they got was defective or a credit, maybe they overpaid. That's refunds and credits. Enter bills. When you have that stack of bills on your desk, you want to enter them into your system. Upcoming expenses, expenses that you plan to pay later. When you actually pay a bill, you use the pay bills form over on this side. So that's a little bit about how the screens work in QuickBooks. The next thing we could do is go to company and chart of accounts. So if I scroll up to the top a bit, I go to company and I'm going to click on chart of accounts. You'll notice that I have the button checked for show account numbers because I'm going to 